Sometimes you'll encounter some complex rock paper scissors style sets. In these situations, what seems to be the strongest openings can all be easily hard countered. But sometimes there will be a strat in the middle that can work decently against everything else. You need to be careful about committing to a strategy early on that can be easily countered by another. You either need to make compromises in your strategy or wait until your opponent commits to something and play safe until they do. Like just buying drones and a blast forge to buy a wall or a splitter. Here's a good example of a set where it can be dangerous to make early commitments. My initial plan was to go for a mid econ green red strat. But after seeing my opponent buy a third NG, I assumed he was going for a strat including defense grid, which can take a while to set up, so I instantly reacted with an animus and planned to get Amparilla using ossified drone for defense. The green red strat would work decently against the D grid, but Ampo is pretty much a guaranteed win because of how insanely efficient it is when there's no attack pressure coming from the other side. So I very quickly climbed to 21 damage, and he wasn't able to establish enough attackers to ever break through. However, planning to blindly go for an Amparilla strat at the beginning of the game is a bad idea. If you try to get Tarsiers and Walls for an Ampo, then you're likely to get countered by the powerful green-red units in the set, because the attack pressure from them will prevent an Ampo from ever being able to be bought and they'll have the strictly more efficient random set attackers instead of Tarsiers. The best strat to go for here is Green Red, because it works beautifully against Ampo, and has a very good chance of winning against a player going for a greedy D-Grid. You can deny the D-Grid Absorb by skipping Feral Warden and using Scorchilla as your main source of damage, and absorbing on Protoplasm for defense. You can hold the 1 HP protos for when you fire your scorches, and maybe also build up enough conduits to get some cluster bolts as well. Degrid is great, but not when it only absorbs damage every 3 turns, and when there's no other decent blue advance set units. Here's another difficult set to play. Emperor is back and his presence makes any greedy build here too risky. There's also Chrono Filter which makes Amparilla even easier to buy than usual. Even with the great defense in the set, Zamor is likely to get bopped by Ampo because it takes too long to do anything, and allows the Ampo to come out pretty uncontested. With no cheap way to spend red, Vi also doesn't work well without a huge economy to support the double animus investment. However, with Tia Thurnax in the set, getting an early animus for Tarsiers becomes too risky as well with no defensive red units in the set. Because of Chrono Filter and Polywall, I'm certain that getting an Amparilla should happen at some point, but the safe timing changes widely depending on what your opponent is doing. I believe that the best strategy here is to play passively, avoid getting too many Vivid Drones early on, and get a Conduit as your first tech building so the option to buy Tia stays open. Then you should slowly buy Drones and Tarsiers until either buying a Tia kills your opponent, or buying an Amparilla becomes a safe investment. Knowing when a Tia will kill your opponent takes some experience. You'll eventually build a game sense for it after experimenting with different timings. However, knowing when you can buy Ampo is fairly simple. If you put the Chrono Filter on the table and calculate how much defense you can buy with Ampo next turn, and how much attack your opponent can buy, you'll know whether you can buy it safely or not. It's probably impossible to buy Ampo if your opponent can buy Tia on his turn, so you'd have to buy the Chrono Filter when your opponent won't have 3 green. So what happened in this match is that I went for an early conduit, and Apooch committed to this early Animus possibly anticipating me going for Zamora. But I instead quickly set up a decent Tia to punish the early Animus. He only got 3 Tarsiers out of it so his investment in the Animus was mostly wasted. He ended up with way too much tech, and his econ was way too low to defend properly. 